All right, listen up. 808s is the topic of discussion today. So everything you need to know about 808s right now. What is good, Ice Age Beats here in the studio. If you didn't check the title out already or the thumbnail or the intro, this video is about 808s and it's all about 808s. That is it, nothing more, nothing less. If you're new to this channel, this is a channel where we help producers grow, become better music producers and create pro level beats right from the house. Before we get started, I have something for you, the Ultimate Beat Maker Toolkit. This guide is a great resource, I'm telling you. Go ahead and get a copy of it right now. It is a list of sounds, plugins, and hardware that I recommend for you to create better beats and this, like, the beats that you hear on this channel. This is the stuff that I use um, and the stuff I've, I've used before, okay? So go ahead and get this guide. It's not a, a guide with thousands of links to go to all these different sounds and different hardware. It's very curated. It's very, very simple. You can execute and, you know, execute this, this guide and start making beats, better beats, right now, like immediately. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into this video. Let's tap in and let's talk about 808s. So I have the notes here that I wrote down about 808s because I really want to make sure that you get the most out of this video and understanding of 808s. Let's talk about the first thing and that is the 808 sound, so, sound selection basically. Picking your 808. Okay, that's that's the first thing. Picking your 808 I should say. Alright. We all know there eight, there's 808s that are longer or shorter um, in terms of like, you know, the waveform and that, that definitely plays a role in, you know, which 808 you want to select, right? And there's also, you know, more 808s that are more sub bass and or, or 808s that are kind of have a kick to it, right? So knowing which one to select, you know, depending on the beat that you have, is going to significantly, you know, it's, it's going to be very pinnacle to how your beat comes out. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and show you. And I got this, just a, a pack pulled up from Slap Experts. Shouts out to them. Their pack is crazy. But I'll just go through a few different ones and let you listen to them real quick. And to, just to understand, you know, the different types of 808s and, and what works better for certain songs, which is going to take time though, right? So it just takes time. It takes the ear. Just train your ear. But just get in the habit of realizing, okay, look, this 808 may not work. It may sound good by itself, but it may not work for this track, right? So let me go to the 808s real quick. And there's so many different 808s out there. Uh, different packs have different kinds of feels and um, types of 808s, right? So but I'll, I'll just go through a few right here. So let's go. Here's my go-to right here. I love this one. But it doesn't always work for everything. So this right here. That joint's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's got this really sub, sub. And, and by the way, if you don't have headphones on or you're not listening to this out of uh, studio monitors, I would definitely, I would strongly recommend that because it's going to allow you to hear um, you know, kind of have more accurate, or it's not going to kind of have, it's going to allow you to have more accuracy when listening. All right, so that, that's a that's a dope 808. Let's go ahead and drag it in real quick. So look at this 808. Boom. It's kind of got a little drag to it, but it's not that long. It's kind of it's kind of short. It's short, simple. It's not too short. It's not like a kick or nothing like that, but it's definitely not a longer extended waveform, as you can tell from it right here. So this works um, with conjunction with a kick for sure, right? So I like to layer in these uh, 808s with kicks. That's just something I like to do. I'd recommend it, all right? And then, um, it, like I said, it may not work for a certain track. It may, it may just be too too low of a, of a register. It may not work, right? So that's just one example. Let me go, let me pull up something else. Now this, okay, now this right here is super sub, like, very, very sub bass. Like that other one, is, you know, I, th I thought this one was pretty subby, but this is low. That's a very low sub bass 808, right? And as you can tell, it's a little bit longer too. You know, the waveforms actually, it's much longer. Um, let me pull up one more. Real short, it's almost like a kick. It's like, it's short, simple. It's got some grime to it. it it'll cut through a mix, right? So let's talk about the next thing, which is going to be tuning your 808 okay so now that we have the sound picked give or take right because you may we may change it out and this and honestly these three things i'm going to talk about or four things i'm going to talk about they're interchangeable to some degree so you may pick the sound and then you need to tune it or you may tune it first and then you need to change it all right so let me explain what i'm talking about in terms of tuning very easy all right so right now as of now i'm going to click c middle c right and this is how it sounds that sounds pretty cool right it's dope in in 
by itself it's fine, right? But when you're playing with other set, like other stuff, it's 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 gonna be out of key if we don't know if it's not set correctly, right? So let's go ahead and go into um, the waveform. Just hit edit in audio window, and we need to find the the key of this of this 808, so we can make sure we're set to the right key. Very easy. Right click, go to regions, and go to detect pitch regions. Boom. So it's in B. It's in B. So this is in B, right? Not C. We know it's it's in B, but right here, what our root note is is C. The root note is not C. The root note was B, right? From the from the 808. We need to find that root note. That's probably a better explanation or better way to explain it. We have to find the root note and set it to the root note, right? So we knew that the note was B, right? The root note was B for that 808, and that's what we need to do here in the piano roll, not the piano roll, but inside of the actual sound, right, in this um, envelope section, right? So we need to tune it by setting it to the root note that it's in. So right now it's at C, right? So this is how it's, this is how the best way that I can kind of try to explain it. Right now the root note is in C, yet the sound uh, of the root note for the 808 is B, right? So when we play C, it's not really C, right? It's off one. It's or you know if it was a different key it's 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 off it's not actually c so we need it to actually be c when we play c on the keyboard it needs to be c you know for real so it needs to be tuned very easy we click all we do is go over to the root note like we said it's b we right click sorry this is sliding me over a little bit we right click to b and it'll tell you root note is on b now that's it remember this is middle c c5 right so we don't want to do b over here we don't want to go all the way over here and do B, right? B2. We don't want to do that. Or, or this one. We don't want to do that. We want to do the one right next to it. Boom. So now, when we play C, it's in tune. I'm telling you, this, this just takes time. It takes a year for sure, but I'm telling you. Just find the root note in that 808 and then set your root note in the envelope section. Let me show you if I went down to B, um, down an octave. See how high it is? We don't want that. This, you can get crazy with this stuff, though. Don't catch me wrong. But we don't want that. There's no need for all that. You're basically moving the whole thing up an octave for no reason. You can do that by yourself. You don't have to do that on here. You can just go up here and do that. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? You can do that on your keyboard. So, anyways, so that's what it kind of means to tune. Hopefully, that makes sense. If you want more in depth about music theory and uh, melodies and 808s, like more in depth, comment below. Let me know if that's something you want to you know, dive in deeper. That's I try to keep it simple and explain the best way I possibly could. And I'm, I'm trying to do better with trying to explain and get that across to you very simple and easy. So let me know if that's that was difficult or you want to dive deeper, whatever. Let me know, comment below, and uh, I'll be sure to get back to you. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is finding the key of your song and making sure that your 808's in the key of the song. All right, so we want to keep the 808 in key. Very easy. All we need to know is... You know, not in key. Yeah, in key. So we we got it tuned. So it's it's tuned up. It's good. We need to make sure it's in the key of the song. This is typical how you would set up something with a melody, right? You want to keep it in key. You just need to know the key, right, of the song. So if the key of the song is C major, which is the easiest key in the world, it starts with C. Sorry, I messed that up, but... C major. It's basically all the white keys, right? If we know that... That's what we need to do. We just need to keep the 808 in those keys. It's very, very simple. Now, let me show you one of these songs that I have, and I will show you that part uh, of this song um, in, in terms of the 808 and where it's placed, and that can help you a little bit with placing them. Because, yeah, you know the key, so you know the keys it can be played on, but it's not going to work. All the keys aren't going to work, mesh well with the melody per se, right? It's all going to depend on... Uh, a couple of different things. So, rule of thumb though, when placing your 808s, you, you kind of want to follow the root notes of your melody, right? If you don't know the root notes, you can find them. Um, and I can definitely do a video on that later. Um, but you can easily find them. So, let me show you a melody I put together. Okay? I'm going to play the melody real quick. And then I'm going to show you, you know, the 808s and where I placed them.
So that's a pretty cool melody. It's pretty dope. Um, definitely gonna make some more beats like this. Honestly, I'll probably do a tutorial on, uh, on this kind of like pain type beat joint. I'll do it later. But anyways, uh, so that is the melody, right? So we need to know that we need to, you know, the 808, that's what we're talking about, placing the 808. Where does it go? Um, we know it needs to be in key, so we know it needs to be one of these keys right here, right? It's got to be in one of these keys. There's just no, it, it can't go anywhere else, right? So let me go ahead and copy the 808. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. This is the same uh, layer as the piano. We're going to go and just do, go to the, um, the 808 here just so I can show you. So this is like the ghost notes, right? This is the melody, right? We need to have those 808s on the root notes. Very easy. So, I've already made the, the melody. Okay? So, I'll just show you. Root notes. So, the root notes, they're dragged down here as well. So, I, I, I basically moved them down an octave. So, we, we don't need to worry about that. But, this is the root notes, right? So, boom, boom. I'm literally just following them. I, I'll, I'll just click around and find spots that sound good. Just, just click around and find spots that sound good, right? So, let's, I'll let you listen to it real quick. slide going on there but right that's it so literally just honestly have fun with this don't don't overthink this just follow the ghost notes place your 808s just find out find, figure it out but definitely a rule of thumb follow those those bass lines or those root notes of the actual chords you're putting together all right so last and final thing that I want to talk about is mixing okay so mixing is important if you don't mix you know, the 808 is just not going to be slapping like that. It's not going to be, you know, I mean, it, it should if you have good sound and it's tuned and it's right and it's in the right key and all that good stuff. So it should sound pretty good, but the mix is going to take it to the next level, right? So let's talk about the mix real quick. And I wanted to include in a part of this, uh, this piece, the sound design piece-ish kind of thing into the mixing section um, or, or, you know, point that I'm trying to make. So when you have an 808, you may want to shorten the 808. You may not want to have it long. Maybe you want to have it like this. You might want to have the 808 shorter, right? It just depends. So play with that. Maybe you, will, you want it longer and it's fine. It could extend out and kind of drag out. It depends. Honestly, I'm thinking about shortening it myself. Oh, that sounds better. It just sounds better. Um, so shortening in the 808, maybe giving it some more space so it's just not dragging out and, and, and clogging up the, you know, it's not, it's kind of like taking up all the space instead of, you know, maybe shortening it a little bit and allowing it to breathe. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's something I wanted to include in this part. Also, you want to cut your 808s. You always want to cut your 808s. Um, I didn't do that here, so shame on me. But always cut your 808s. I don't care if it's a short 808. I don't care. I don't care if they're not clashing like that. And basically what this is doing is every time another 808 is hitting, it other one is immediately being shut off. Because that's what we want. We don't want it to be bleeding into one another. It doesn't sound good. So always cut your anyways. Go ahead and cut them. Just right click, cut. So that's the sound design part. I want to talk about the mixing though. Very easy. What I do with my 808s, very, very simple. First thing first, I do merge them. Uh, I, the stereo separation, I try to move them. I've lately been doing this and I feel like it's been working for me. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll collapse the, the, the stereo with. I'll, I'll basically make it mono straight down the middle. And that's easy. You could just go straight down. There's other, you know, there's third party plugins that, allow, that can allow you to do that as well. But basically, you don't want a stereo with, you want it to be mono right down the middle. Um, and everything else, like your hi hats and stuff, they can kind of be spread out. Even your melodies can be spread out. Next thing I would share with you is uh, EQ. You got to EQ. Uh, honestly, believe it or not, when you EQ out some of those high frequencies, it kind of creates a more distinct 808. It allows the other stuff to breathe, hi hats. Even the kick, if you're adding the kick with your 808, it's going to allow those things to have their own place as well. So what I've noticed is I like to cut a little bit of the high ends out of my 808s. Um, not always, but most of the time I'll, I'll cut some about so I can kind of just really allow it to be focused just on that sub uh, or, or bass frequency or you know, low mid frequency as you can tell right here. Another thing I add, which is a must, is a distortion plug. It doesn't have to be Saucer's Fattener. It could be anything, but this is the go-to. I'm telling you, this is the plug-in right here. And let me show you what it does. I'll mute it and let you listen to it, and then I'm going to put it back on. So this is with it off. So it sounds pretty good. I'm not going to lie. When you pick a good 808 and it's got some distortion and some stuff already in it, and it sounds really good, 
there's not much you have to do, like I said before. But just a little bit, just add a little bit of sauce. I'm telling you, it changes the game. So let's listen to it with it on. So there's a couple things that's going on right now. And uh, I haven't fully mixed this, so bear with me. Let me actually tweak this up a little bit just so you can really hear it. And then I'll explain what's going on. See that? So we don't need we don't need to add that much. That's a little bit much. I'm not gonna lie. So what's going on here too? There's two couple things going on. So the fat this is gonna determine kind of that griminess. That color is gonna give it that kind of color. And you should, you can just play with these knobs. There's only two knobs. It's really not that hard. And then there's a gain knob. So the gain knob is kind of like a compressor. So I've noticed though when I cut this gain down a little bit after I add some fatness or color, and I kind of compress a little bit, kind of creates a clean 808. It's not all over the place. It's kind of a clean, you know, solid 808, and it kind of hits through, comes in, comes out, right? Um, don't want to add too much compression because then it kind of creates a, a thinness and, a, you know, it kind of squashes the sound. So you just be careful. There's only three knobs in total or three different things you can possibly do. So just play with this, right? Add some fat. Honestly, I don't add too much, though. I just add a little bit, especially with this type of 808. It's already really good. That's basically the mix section for 808s, give or take. Like I said, I definitely would love to do more mixing and, and, and music theory uh, videos, training, stuff like that. So definitely let me know. I can really sit down and create something, curate something that's more structured, um, well, just more detailed, honestly, I should say. Of course, if you haven't already checked out the um, Ultimate Beatmaker Toolkit guide, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, you're watching this right now and you still haven't checked it out, I don't know what you're doing. Like, you gotta go ahead and, and tap in on this. Like, this is, this is put together, the team and I put this together so that you can be the best you can be, right? Like, this is what this channel's about and um, I want you to win, right? That's, that's all that I'm here for. I'm not here to, you know, to just, you know, share cool stuff and just say, oh, I'm cool, I'm good. No, it's, it's for you to learn and get better and for us to grow together because I don't know everything either, right? So. Hope you found value in this video. Put these things that I talked about today about 808s, put them to practice, put them to work, go get it, go after it. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.